Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog. It is Saturday, January 22nd. As you guys can probably already guess, I went to spin this morning and then I went home, showered, had a coffee, and then I got ready. I'm actually here at a piercing place. I'm gonna um, get one of my lobe piercings re-pierced. I had to take it out for my extra school program and then I just never got it re-pierced because it closed up. And I can get the left one in but not the right one. So I'm getting that re-pierced and then I'm just gonna have some jewelry changed out. I'm gonna get some new pieces. And then, I don't know, I'll probably grab another coffee, some lunch, and then I think my mom and I are gonna run to Home Goods. It is a classic Julia and her mom vlog. My mom and I used to do this all the time on the weekends, and we just kind of like fell off once I got Winnie. So, anyway, I also need to take her for a walk today. I'm wearing Lulu fanny pack. This is from Lane 201. Mock neck thing is from Mints and Basil. I have some leggings on that are full of fuzzies from this coat, and then I just have my normal Doc Martens on. So, I'm gonna go in because my appointment's in like five minutes. Should we go potty? <laughs> Should we go potty? Should we go potty, wiggle butt? Let me see wiggle butt. Oh, did you find your toy? It's such a nice toy. Wow. Yeah, it's so nice. I just got back to my parents' house from shopping with my mom. I got so much stuff at Home Goods and Marshalls. I literally have not been there in so so long first off i got winnie some things she has a toy right now and i need to get the packaging off of it so winnie can i get that stuff off of that can i see that quick can i see that good girl winnie loves anything with ropes and fringes i'm gonna move this so she doesn't knock it over she loves anything with fringes and rope on it so we found a lot for you yeah we did very spoiled, very spoiled girl. And it's from Nature Pets or something. I know, honey, it's taking so long. I don't know what it is, I'm not really sure. I don't know, he's a funky looking animal. <gasps> but she loves anything with little fringes and rope. <laughs> Come on, up, up. Good girl. So. Winnie got that. We also found her this fun little rope with a bunch of little sides to it. And the third ropey. Oh, wow. That's a big one. I'm going to move back over to better lighting now that she has something to occupy her. She literally loves those little fringes. Anyway, so I hit it hard in the beauty area this is the kopari tropical coconut melt so it's basically like coconut oil and if you don't like beauty products being sold at tj maxx marshall just don't buy them i buy them because i don't find an issue with them but i know a lot of people on tiktok are like don't buy them for certain reasons kopari is a really good brand from alta i've tried their stuff before but this smells so good you like that? So basically you can use this on your body as a hair mask, dry shave oil, a bath boost, or a belly balm. It was $14.99, I already used it on my hands. And then I found this Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Detangling Spray. So I'm gonna try to use this when I go to Mexico. We're actually planning on going on a little snorkel excursion. We got a little private boat because my um, aunt and uncle and their kids and my cousin's boyfriend are all coming with so we're going snorkeling and my hair gets super super tangly in the salt water so I bought this for that reason so we'll give that a try I check that all of these have not been opened by the way I know a lot of people are worried about that kind of thing but this is the Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder I've literally gone through like five of these they're my favorite powders ever and unfortunately I'm pretty sure Becca's going out of business so I think that's one of the only areas you can find it these days um, also, I was just talking to Cheney about this. Basically, you can just like clean your brush in between uses for like eyeshadow and stuff. And I got one of those in a FabFitFun box, I believe, years ago, and I love it. So I might give that one to Cheney because I was just telling her about that. I also picked up these Gayem 
I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, G-A-I-A-M, grip socks. You have to wear these at bar, so I've been going to bar a lot more, so I picked those up. I also picked up some Real Techniques brushes. This is the cheek brush, another cheek brush, which is a layer brush for highlighting cream powder highlight. And then I found this Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydrofull Retexturizing Gel Cream. Yeah, there's so many fun things. Oh my goodness. Ouch. That hurt. Come on. Go get him. And then I picked up these clips, which were $7.99. And Winnie is a sock thief. So half of my socks do not have mates. These were $9.99. They're the Adidas brand. These ones are my favorite. And the last thing in my little haul is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Berry Air Cream. Berry Air. I don't know. She really wants to play tug of war right now. <laughs> You're literally going to dislocate my shoulder, girlfriend. So, her and I are going to play for a little bit. I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I really need to redo my nails. And people are asking to show how I do my nails. So maybe I'll include that in this vlog. Like from start to finish. Taking it off. Putting it back on. All the products they use, things like that. So, all right, I'm gonna clean up and play with her. So creepy. Winnie and I are staying over at my parents tonight. We literally live like two minutes of a drive away from here, so it's really easy for us to just pop over. Plus it is freezing cold and still having the potty issue. Nevertheless, she persisted. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Don't hit me in the nose with your big, big head. 
Who's in the mirror? Who is that? Who is that? Is that you? Who is that puppy? Who is that puppy? Is that Winnie? Is that you? Is that you? Okay. Be free. So, I'm going to get ready for bed quick. What? Park. That's rude. No bark. No bark. So I wanted to quickly do my February planning because February is coming up so quick. So this is the planner that I'm currently using. I don't know if I can link this one. I'll try my best though. Basically, this is a weekly and monthly planning calendar by the Every Girl for Day Designer. Day Designers are usually my favorite. It has a yearly overview, some stickers, which is nice. We all love stickers. It also has a little pocket. He missed Snoopy. It also has a pocket if you needed to put any like important cards or anything in there. I'm not necessarily just using this for career. This was the only one that they had in store at Target that I liked. So I like to have a paper planner as well as do Google planning. This is what January kind of looked like. I'm going to go through this, fill it out. I'm going to fill out this monthly spread off of my Google calendar. Oops. This is how it turned out. I really didn't put a ton on here just because I don't have a ton of appointments and stuff this month. That's basically how I plan in this planner. I think I like it for the most part. It's just very simple and I like that it comes with stickers. I know some people feel like planning like this is so silly and unnecessary but i like it and i've planned like this since i was young and in school and stuff so it makes me feel a lot more organized if this doesn't work for you that is totally okay sometimes this works for people and sometimes it doesn't and there are a million different methods to planning she's going to town over there this is basically what i do for like flights and stuff i just kind of write in my estimated times and stuff and then like to-do lists look like this on the days that don't have the actual to-dos which are the weekends, but yeah.